Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's conversation sponsored by the Albert Shanker Institute and AFT. My name is Marla Yuseli Kashap. I will be your host today. I have the great pleasure of being assistant to Randy Weingarten, our president and head of our educational issues department. The topic we're going to be discussing today is terrific, important, um, and near and dear to my heart, teaching art, craft, or science. I will tell you that we have the closest thing to a perfect panel to address that question, and I'm going to introduce them to you in a minute. But first, before our conversation gets underway, I've got a little bit of housekeeping. So first, I have upcoming events housekeeping. Want to make sure that you know, and you may have picked up a brochure or a flyer, rather, when you came in, that you're invited to a book discussion and reception next week. Um, it will be Tuesday, April 16th, from 4 to 6 p.m., right here in this room. Um, it is Randy Weingarten's discussion with Debbie Amontasser. Folks from New York may know Debbie. Um, she is a longtime teacher and principal and author of a new book called Leading While Muslim. It's about the experiences of American Muslim principals after 9-11. Um, so that should be a really terrific event right here next Tuesday at 4 p.m. Um, the second event that I want to mention, once I find my piece of paper, um, is uh, an event next week on Thursday morning. Um, uh, that's April 18th at the National Press Club from 9 to noon. And that is a speech by Randy um, at the National Press Club entitled The Teaching Profession in Crisis, The Reasons and Remedies. Um, that's an invitational session, um, but we can absolutely get you an invitation. Um, I think one of those nice white cards that you get to use for writing down questions would be a perfect place to put some emails um, if you would like to uh, get that, and we may even be able to share the, uh, the registration link that might be easier. That um, Randy's speech is going to be followed by two panels, one with district and union leaders about turning policy into practice, and another with um, state level and federal experts um, and leaders on moving professionalism from rhetoric to reality. So that should be a terrific morning. So that um, is my um, events housekeeping, but I also have process housekeeping. Um, and Albert Shanker Institute regulars will kind of know what that process is. That is that each of the panelists, when they speak, um, can do their presentation for up to 12 minutes. Um, if it seems like they may not be ending when we get to 10 or 11, I'll kind of give a gentle um, warning so that we make sure we can hear from everyone. Um, and um, after the panel members speak, we'll have an opportunity for questions and answers, both among the panel and from all of you. Um, at the appropriate moment in time, if you don't have them already, these little white index cards will magically appear, and you will be able to write questions on them. Vicki will collect them, and we will ask those questions. Um, and if you want to help us keep the conversation going um, now um, and in social media and beyond, the hashtag that we are using using is hashtag nature of teaching um, and please feel free to share on that and I expect Matt will be doing that um, over in the corner of the room as well. So to our topic, well on any given day in Washington DC there is pretty likely more than one event on education that you might be able to show up at. Um, today I might just mention that there was one this morning the Secretary of Education appearing before the House Education and Labor Committee on the Hill. I can pretty much guarantee you that this event is both more edifying and probably will be a little better on your blood pressure than that one might have been. <laughs> so when I first read the uh, title of this conversation, Teaching, Art, Craft, or Science, question mark, I said yes, which probably wasn't the right answer. Um, yes, of course. <laughs> It's not an either or, uh, or in this case, it's not an either or or. Um, and in fact, uh, it started to sound like a multiple choice question. Is it A, is it B, is it C, or is it all of the above? Then that started me thinking because you know it's testing season. Um, and it's really testing season in New York, uh, in New York State, there's been a a lot of activity there. And it also made me think of that ridiculous question on the MCAS asking a student to put themselves in the perspective of a racist white woman in the South. 
uh, writing an essay related to the novel The Underground Railroad, and I just kind of started getting in a downward spiral, and I stopped thinking about those things. Um, but for too many classroom teachers, thinking about testing actually can't ever be very far from their minds. Um, so I hope that the thoughtful perspectives that I know we're going to have in the next um, few minutes on teaching as art, craft, and science, wherever our speakers come down, um, one of the things that I'm really going to be listening for is how can schools, systems, policies, and other institutions, including teachers unions like the one I work for, more effectively support the art, the craft, and the science of teaching. Um, and I'm confident we're going to have a terrific discussion about that. Let me very briefly introduce each panelist in the order in which they will speak. Um, as usual, there are bios in the folder that you picked up on the way in. Those bios are much more extensive than I would tell you, and they are worthy of your read because these are terrific and accomplished um, people whose work is very relevant to our topic today. Um, Anthony Breich is president of the Carnegie Foundation for the Advancement of Teaching, and much of his work involves bringing researchers and practitioners together to improve teaching and learning. Um, in his previous roles, among the many things that Tony has done, has produced um, seminal works such as um, Catholic Schools and the Common Good, and my personal favorite, Trust in Schools. Andy Hargraves is research professor at Boston College, visiting professor at the University of Iowa, uh, Ottawa. <laughs> yeah, Iowa, Ottawa. That's really not the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, and he is distinguished visiting professor at Hong Kong University. Um, Andy speaks and consults around the world, and his most recent book, which I commend to your attention, is Collaborative Professionalism, When Teaching Together Means Learning for All. Andrea Worthington Garcia is a nationally board certified teacher of English as a second language. She's currently a teacher at the International um, High School at Langley Park in Bladensburg, Maryland, where she teaches speakers of multiple languages. Um, and among Andrea's many talents, she is also instructor an instructor in AP Studio Art. To my immediate left is Elizabeth Davis. Elizabeth is the elected president of the Washington Teachers Union. She has taught in DC public schools for more than 40 years, has been hailed by the Washington Post as a game changer, and her writings about social justice teaching have been published in three nationally acclaimed volumes. So clearly, you will agree with me, this is an awesome panel. And without further ado, I'd love to hear from our first speaker, Tony Brake. 